So this one trick I ran across might help those who are tired of seeing those annoying infomercial videos popping up every time you're trying to watch a program on YouTube might finally have a solution to that problem that doesn't require any fancy software to suppress them once and for all. You're thinking what in the hell could possibly be done to keep them at bay, while you're enjoying whatever flick or music video that just so happens to be playing at the moment. Consequently, this doesn't require the use of any complicated software, but rather a simple, very short line of code. You'll have to type in the web page's address located in the very top link address box in the header region of the entire page itself. Yes, that will be the very top in the header section, and while you're there, you want to keep the current address that's posted in the link address box. First thing you want to do is look and see what's the real-time link address that's typed out just beyond this line. You can clearly see the link matches what is shown in the link address box of the web page image displaying. No more YouTube ads. The thing to focus on is the link, which you will manipulate by editing it through a two-process step. First, take the original link address, shown in red, and switch out the watch, question mark icon, and the letter V along with the equal sign icon part of the link address which is the entire first step, and then replace it with an embed code, you will type in place of it. Do not include the parentheses as you see encasing both the text and the forward slashes. And make sure you place it in front of the EMG Z9KYTCV4 part in the example text you saw a moment ago. Another very important thing to remember is when you paste in the link to double check the far right side of the link just past the forward slash embed forward slash code, or the entire EMG Z9KYTCV4 part, and what you're looking for is the first letter just after the forward slash embed forward slash code that sometimes may disappear after you apply the code to the link address. This will not always be the case usually just placing the forward slash embed forward slash code after deleting the watch, question mark, the letter V, and the equal sign phrase should be enough. In the case of the example link further ahead, the red colored letter points out the first letter that sometimes get accidentally deleted out when the code is pasted in. If this happens, all you have to do is type it back in and do the same thing if any other words are accidentally deleted. This must be done for every link address you come across in order to reach safe view mode, and it's imperative you study the ending part of the link thoroughly. Making sure all of the letters are typed out correctly and are situated to the right side of the forward slash embed forward slash code, YouTube. Com forward slash embed forward slash emg z 9 kytcv 4 That's the most crucial part of the trick you must do correctly, and once this second step is done, you then want to highlight the changed link address in the link address box by holding the CTRL key down while simultaneously tapping the A key once to copy it. Then hold the CTRL key down while simultaneously tapping the V key once to paste it into the link address box and then press the Enter key, and after doing so, you'll now be taken to a spot within YouTube where ads can't access the page where you're viewing whatever program. So if done correctly, you should be now seeing a similar link of the altered current address shown at the top of the image which is, now, YouTube. Com forward slash embed forward slash emg z 9 kytcv 4 There was another type of link I ran across, and unfortunately, I can't locate this extended looking type of link, as best as I can describe, that goes something like this, YouTube com forward slash embed forward slash BAZ7HPZS4G plus HJ3ZCV if you see anything like that, always focus on the key phrase of the link itself that's shown above highlighted in white. The BAZ7HPZS4G plus HJ3ZCV part that's positioned just before a plus or a minus sign, it may be another forward slash icon after the phrase. It will always be only that specific section pointed out to you in white highlight is all that's needed. Anything else surrounding that needs to be deleted out and replaced with the forward slash embed forward slash code. So the watch, the question mark, the letter V, the equal sign, and the plus sign, the lowercase h, uppercase j, the 3, the minus sign, the uppercase z, the lowercase c. 
and the uppercase V should be removed and replaced with the embed code like shown in the next example. Remember these are real links used as an example, however. Every YouTube link varies and you'll have to apply the double encased forward slash embed code concept I showed you to other YouTube address links in order for this trick to work properly. That's basically what you want to see, which should now be an enlarged view screen of the video like you see in the image above, and if you are, then you're now viewing the video in YouTube safe video mode parameters of their media website. And whatever you do don't click the watch on YouTube icon logo sitting to the lower left side of the video. Doing so takes you right back out to YouTube's regular site where the video ads will be reactivated. Keep in mind to check out the video in this posted content and simply click the link below if you're still unsure that will take you to the actual video itself to see it done there. Thank you for listening to this short YouTube ad block tutorial.